We're just a few days now away from the Vikings' first game of the regular season, and it's happening right here at U.S. Bank Stadium. First, though, it's back to practice at TCO, and that's where we find our Don Mitchell tonight. So, Don, how are things looking with the team? You know, it's almost perfect that it feels like football, right? 65 degrees, it's overcast, a little chilly, and the players say it was perfect to hit the field today as they get ready to open it all up this Sunday against the Buccaneers. So everything is regular season ready. So they hit the practice field, as I just said, all with one mission in mind, and that is to face and game plan for Tampa Bay. Now, they're dialed in, they're ready, they also said they are ultimately focused on just game one. They don't look ahead. They already know what is in the horizon. Now, Kirk Cousins specifically knows he's under a microscope to win for the team first, of course, but also for that contract pressure he's under. But pressure is a privilege. And Kirk, he knows that... Anything can be handled in this league, but no one is handed anything. A quarterback was drafted high in, Tom, in New England and Tom was the starter and Tom made the point. There is no entitlement in the NFL. And if there is entitlement in the NFL, that organization is probably doing it wrong. So uh, I think it's healthy when players need to go out every day and nobody's entitled to anything. I think that's a healthy way to run an organization. To be, you know, in the, the same offense for, for a second year is, is always fun because you start to actually realize what the backside's doing rather than just memorizing yourself, you know, coming here week seven last year. Maybe that first carry because you never know if it's going to be the first play of the game, but uh, you touch the ball for the first time or you, you know, block someone for the first time, whatever it might be, you get some of the, a taste of the action for the first time, uh, then that's kind of when everything like settles in and, and you're in it. It's what's, what it's all about, right? It's what you uh, work all off season for, um, all training camps, this is, this is what it comes down to. And for the first time in 13 years, Kyle Rudolph is not getting ready for game one. I spoke with the former Viking and Buccaneer today. He officially retired this week, as you probably know, and he's proud to do so as a Viking. Now, Kyle is doing charitable work with a company named All True, as well as media. So making that decision to retire, we all know it's tough. Everyone says you'll know when it's time. But he said it became easier as things got busier. He has TV, radio, podcast, charity work, and it all became clear. And then I got really heavily involved in the ultra side of things and raising money for charity. And quite honestly, it just got to the point where I called my agent and I said, I'm more excited about this stuff than playing football. That tells me all I need to know. That's all you need to know. But he is not done with the Vikings. Like I said, All True is partnering with the Vikings to bring many charitable events to Vikings fans. So be on the lookout for that. He will be in town versus the Chargers. So Rudy is still in purple. Even though he's not on the field, he is still here and in people's hearts. We're at TCO Performance Center. We'll send it back to you. He yeah. belongs here. The fans will always think of him yeah, as a Viking. He's one of those. <laughs> all right. Thanks, Don. Well, it's